And as promised, we are now going to be doing Miku Masha. Yeah, I know. That's her whole name. <laughs> so, this route is going to be a little bit different than all the other ones that I've done so far. Because it does not go by a point system. So, if you're new to this and you never played it before, yeah. Uh, you just make choices uh, for it. Uh, she does not have anything. She does not show up at all in day one. So, day two is going to be pretty much a skip the entire way through. But there is something that we will be doing in day one, though. Uh, we are going to be grabbing the keys this time around. Because the most of the times I've been ignoring those keys this whole time. But now those keys are going to come into play. Uh, but the first choice we're going to see as you're kind of coming into the screen. You kind of already see where I'm going here. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to make the choice with the keys, and then we are going to proceed into day two. So how I'm going to do this is, because Miku does not show up, like I said, in day one. She shows up in day two. So um, since she only shows up in day two, um, consider that kind of like day one, even though it'd be kind of like, you know. So, and the way that this is going to go, it's like I said, I, I, I have the walkthrough here. Uh, her thing is a little bit different. Seems like her route's gonna be a little bit shorter than some of the other ones. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean a bad a bad thing because I've been waiting for a while to want to do this, girl. So <laughs> yeah. So without further ado, let me pick this choice and we will get to the opening intro uh, intro theme that you guys have come to know. Okay, now after the intro, we are actually to a point where we need to be. Um, obviously, this isn't exactly a character that we you need to see. This, we know this is not Miku, but there's a part, as I said, that's going to be coming up here that I need to grab. So, yeah. So, other than that, there's really nothing to it. And most of the choices anyway. The, the walkthrough says it doesn't really matter whether or not you interact with people. But I'm going to treat it like I've done all the other ones anyway. Just try to focus on one person if I can. Sometimes it might not always be that easy, as I say. But we'll see where it goes for now. Uh, you're still going to see some other people but from time to time. But since I'm doing Miku, uh, you're going to probably see things that, you know, some of you but never seen before or but those of you that have played it obviously a few my subs have played her route so but I'm kind of blind to it so it'll be all kind of new to me so <laughs> yeah so I'm just smiled and stood up on the table it's late can you find a way to over in the meeting house by yourself of course I can but why should I go there she'll settle you with someone what for 
Probably this question seems stupid because Slavia bursted into good natured uh, laughter. You need to sleep somewhere, right? That makes sense. Fine. I'll be off then. Good night. Night. <clears throat> it's strange that she left in such a hurry. A bundle of keys left in the door locked caught my attention. Let's see. I was going to catch up to Slavia, but where does she live? And knocking on every door during the middle of the night didn't sound like a bright idea. And like I said, <laughs> I knew it all the other times. We are not going to ignore it this time. But after I make this choice, I'm going to skip all the way to day two. So there'll be another pause and a skip ahead. So yeah. So let's take these keys. I'd better take them. I'll get it back tomorrow because who knows what happens here at night. And let me do some skipping forward and I'll be right back again. <coughs> day two. And like I said, treat this like day one. <laughs> Although even though it's going to be kind of hard to do. Uh, now I won't have to forward as much as I was doing. Uh, because... Uh, she's going to call everybody uh, that's going to come out here. That's going to be just like it was previously. It seemed like I was in some kind of vacuum with nothing but nothing around me. But only, but not only around, I was the only creature in the universe. As if the universe had returned to a state of singularity right before the Big Bang. And something was just about to happen. Suddenly I heard a voice. I could not make out the words, but it sounded familiar. Now keep in mind, we took these keys. I'm not exactly sure how keys apply to Miku, but that's what the walkthrough says, you know. So, I don't know. It's kind of funny if you ask me. And then I realized. It was the voice of that strange girl from the bus. The girl from the dream. Ah. But what is she trying to tell me? Who is she? That person will be coming in time, but not yet. I woke up. <clears throat> Bright sunlight struck my eyes. It was almost noon. After stretching lazily on the bed and yawning, I started to recall the previous day. In a few seconds, all its events passed before my eyes, the bus, the cat, the local inhabitants. No, that's just good. Not this whole situation, not me being here. It was wrong by default. My attitude towards what was happening was wrong. Because yesterday I fell asleep here just like that. And before that, I chatted nicely with the local pioneers, even managed to crack a few jokes. How could I act like that in such a situation? I should be frightened, startled by every little rustling, should avoid all contact with the potentially hostile creatures. The last day's events were getting uh, hazy, like I had a hangover. This really feels like the morning after a heavy drinking party. Yesterday's natural, flawless, ab absolutely normal conduct becomes a nightmare in the morning. A grotesque illustration from the divine comedy. Yes, it's just like that, and I can't change the past. Though. Then again, I had probably assessed the situation and was acting accordingly. I glanced around, trying to figure out whether I had been thrown somewhere else, but Olga's cabin looked the same as yesterday. Everything seemed, seemed to be in its place, except for a pioneer uniform, which was hanging from the bed. I fumbled with it in distrust and tried it on. At least this is better than walking around in winter clothes. I wish I could see myself, but I looked like a clown. <laughs> and for that, I needed a mirror. Yeah, I'm going to skip a little bit of this, because this is irrelevant here, but it's kind of funny here. Let me do your neckerchief properly this time. Yours is askew. You should do it yourself once you learn how to. Do we have to? I am going to wash myself now. Yeah, right. Uh, it could get hooked on the tab and strike me. Fine. Later then. And don't forget about the lineup. Pencils, paper, uh, drawing lines. Uh, you don't forget such things. What lineup? <clears throat> what do you mean, what lineup? She frowned. It's Monday today. No offense, it's like, you know, you come to a new place, you're at day one. You gotta expect, you gotta know the rules there, right? You gotta know, like, oh, oh, hey, this is the week we do the lineup. Well, why didn't you tell me that before, you know? But I just came here, I just stumbled upon you people, and like, 
I'm supposed to know this, right? I don't know. That would be my kind of question. I pop to her. It's like, uh, well, I didn't know this was the day we had to do that in. <laughs> you know. Weird, but by approximation, it should have been Sunday. Then again, a shift in the day of the week is hardly the worst thing. Usually we have lineups early in the morning before breakfast, but it's Monday today, so we are having it at 12 o'clock. Don't be late. All right, but where? At the square, where else? There was no reason to argue. I headed to the bathing place. <laughs> I knew I could forget about separate showers and toilet, but at the sight of this malfunctioning symptom of decay and socialism, a funny turtle with a tin shell, paw taps, and a ceramic belly. I felt sick. Boy, oh boy. Uh, this dialogue, uh, after the part about the shower and toilet, I don't know. Malfunctioning symptom of decaying socialism. A funny turtle with a tin paw, paw taps, and a ceramic belly. What in the world is that? It's like, um, you think thinking all this. It's like, who thinks like that? You know, it's like, uh, there's all this kind of stuff just popping into people's brain. I don't know. I'm certainly maybe not mine. It's like, and just weird dialogue. It's like how, it's like, it just seems kind of like, I don't know, parts of it, it's like, relevant, other it's like, what in the world are you thinking or saying here, you know? Uh, I was not a squeamish person, but nevertheless, standing there, I realized that there was still some minimal level of habitual comfort, which I found it troublesome to do without. It's often like that when you lose things that you thought were ordinary and common, you suddenly understand just how essential they were. Let's see where we are. Ah, screw this, as if I have any chance. And I need to do some forwarding here, because... Ah... Uh, Slavia to tracksuit. Nice. But you're not the one we need to see right now. Not that I'm going to complain about her, though. She is one of my favorites in the game, since after playing so many routes, she's still up there for me. Uh, I just have to see about Miku here, though. See if uh, she changes my tune on it, though. But we'll see. <laughs> I know a few of you guys have said it's your favorite route, but I need to see it for myself for if I agree with you, some of you. <laughs> ah, so here we are. I don't know why Miku has to be absent for this lineup, because you saw her on the bus, right? But instead they throw uh, Zenya in here, who doesn't even really have a route. Although, well, actually, I, I yeah, she kind of does, but she really doesn't. It's like, you have to beat the entire game to do her. Uh, but I bet we're already better on that. I've mentioned that a few times if you're new to this that she doesn't really have much of a round. It's more like, okay, why she's there in the first place. But if I'm able to do that, I will include it. Otherwise, you know, it would be the final uh, part that I do. Because that'll be, by that time I get to that point, that'll just solve the entire plot. I'm hoping that I could be able to do the harem ending. But being that I have the all ages version though. This is not the 18 plus version that I have, as some of you guys know that been following this, uh, my let's play of this all this time. So I don't know. Uh, I may, they might have stripped that part away from me. I don't know. But if I'm able to do that, I will include it after I do Eula's, uh, normal good ending. Um, I do want to at least try to attempt that just to see what it's about. Because most people say it's kind of a bad ending. Like something like that. I don't know, the idea of hooking up with all those girls though, I don't know if you would call that a bad ending. <laughs> it depends on how you look at it though. Yeah. But let's do some forwarding here because as I said, uh, there's some choices that I'm going to have to make here. And here we are. So this will be the first time we see Miku and we are actually going to this club. So let's go to the music club. A small one level building was located some distance from the other camp buildings. And keep in mind we have this key, so let's see what happens. I opened the door and entered without hesitation. There were enough instruments for a whole orchestra here, drums, guitars, even a piano. I spent some time looking closely at every instrument wanted to guess the time period they were from. 
And suddenly I heard a crawling sound coming from uh, underneath the piano. See, uh, girl, seems like she was looking for something. She was standing on all fours, uh, in such a suggestive pose that I hesitated to speak at first. Uh, excuse me. Uh, who's there? Uh. She tried to stand up, but the bottom of the piano prevented her from doing so. Ouch! Uh. She struggled out. Sorry, I just scared you. That's nothing. Oh, you got a checklist. You must be new here. Ah, uh, yes. My name is Miku. No, really. I'm serious. Nobody believes me. But it's my real name. My mother is Japanese. My dad died. I uh, met her when... I mean, that did not sound right. I said her boss dad died. <laughs> he slapped myself for that. It's like, what happens when you read early in the morning? You just try to part... <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that come from, man? Oh, boy. I need to get my priorities in gear. My dad met her when he was building. Uh, well, it wasn't him who was building. He's an engineer. And he was working on a nuclear power plant there. Or a dam. Or a bridge. Whatever. She was talking so fast, she swallowed up the words she tried to pronounce. And that's what I was trying to do for her, and I kind of stumbled over them over a few lines doing that. So it's like, I should voice her a little differently, but as I mentioned, it's kind of like, I've tried to do that, so, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Simeon. Hey, wanna be in our club? It's only me here now, but it would be the two of us then. Can you play anything? When I became antisocial, I bought a guitar and learned a few chords, but then I forgot about it, since I put everything that required more than a couple of hours to learn. You know, I wasn't planning to do anything like that, really. Oh, it's okay. I'll teach you. Maybe a trumpet, for example. How about a violin? I know it all, honestly. There was no point in arguing with the orchestra girl, since there was only another uh, cascade of words waiting to blast at me. Hey, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, can you just sign it for me? Yes, yes, sure. Give it to me. Uh, be sure to come around. I sing too. I'll sing you some Japanese folk songs, or maybe if you're not into that, something more contemporary. Sure, thanks. Gotta go now. Uh, of course. Come anytime. She's flushing. Well, it's up time. Look at that. <laughs> so that is her little introduction, so... I don't know when the next time we're going to run into her, so I'm going to have to figure out when that'll be. The end of her sentence stayed inside. It might be nice to hang around with a guitar in the evening, but it's such company. Look at that. Already he met her and he doesn't know what to think. It's like, maybe it's because, I don't know, the way that he met her and she was just talking so damn fast he couldn't keep up. I'm not really sure. Even me, I stumbled over. I was doing some stumbling too. It's kind of like, oh... It's like, I was doing all the other routes, and then it's like, wait a minute, I have to do Miku now. It's like, and she talks a certain way. It's like, if you guys ever noticed, uh, because she only showed up randomly when I was focusing on other people, it's like, I didn't have to concentrate as much. Now, because I'm actually doing her route, it's like, oh, <laughs> you have to think, it's like, oh, I'm going to have to divorce her a little more often than I usually do, so it's going to be a little bit, uh see how it goes <laughs> like that i don't know i got most of it but not too much oh whoa i turned to leave and came face to face with Alyssa. she eyed me suspiciously why did you come the checklist got it signed yes then move it okay Alyssa went inside and i hurried to leave the place I forgot she was the only other person that was, like, there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure these other places don't really have any buried on anything. Um, the kitchen one has to do with Ayana, so we're not actually going to go there. Um, so let me uh, see what the clubhouse. Uh, the first one is the other one I wanted to do. So let me get these other ones out of the way and I will be right back.
Okay, so I made it past all those, so it didn't really do too much. So we're in the cafeteria, so I'm going to see what's going to go down here. But I do recall the card thing is going to come into play at some point. Uh, that one that doesn't really specify have anything to do with Miku here. So at least I don't have to worry about that. But I'm going to play just like I do all the other ones. Uh, I'm going to ignore this stupid bet. Uh, hopefully I don't have to worry about that, but we'll see what it goes because it doesn't say it has any bearing on her route or nothing. So, yeah, but that's just kind of the way I've done it so far anyway. There weren't too many free seats. Uh, there were free chairs near Alyssa across the canteen, but I'd sooner starve for a week or two than risk my head near her. There was also a seat near Oyana, but I'm not into traditional Chinese whatever uh, cross cuisine. Oh, yeah. Finally, a free chair in Miku. Yeah, please go sit there. Can I get a choice on that? Looks like I'll have to pick my poison. You mind if I sit here? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, no. I, I don't mind. I mean, yes, you can sit here. I sat down. Look, it's buckwheat today. Do you like buckwheat and chicken? I don't like chicken. Well, not that I don't like it. <laughs> but if you'd ask me, what would I prefer? Say, stroganoff beef or rugout? Um, or, no, maybe just a hamburger or a rump steak. Do you like rump steak? She does talk fast. I mean, I guess if I was around this person, maybe I would be like, I wouldn't be like him, though. I would ask him, just like, could you slow down maybe just a little bit? Like, <laughs> she's probably just used to just kind of like, just, you know, she's probably one of those types of just, you know, if I met this person in life, I'd be like, well, you definitely have a lot of energy, but it's like... Maybe if you slow down a little bit, I might understand you, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Rump steak. Wow. I'm not that picky about my food. And that's the simple truth. Oh, is that so? But the desserts, you know, they aren't really good here. I like ice cream. Do you like ice cream? I just love 48 Kopecks and Lenny Grotsky. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I keep talking about myself. Uh, again, I've read this before, so you guys can pretty much, I don't know, read that. Obviously, what has any bearing for you guys over in Russia, I have no idea. They always have, make a reference to something, you know. They do this with Japan and stuff, too. Maybe you like Eskimo better. <laughs> Dinner was starting to get on my nerves, thanks to such company. Look at that. One more, you just met this person, it's just what I'm talking about, but maybe it's, I don't know, it's, like, it's kind of weird. He does not act this, like, to anywhere, but you're on this route, Sydney, this time, so we're going to make choices to force you to be with this girl, see how that's going to go. <laughs> oh, no, that's just kind of, it's kind of, uh, kind of mean of him, if it, yes, <laughs> it's like the company, good boy. And I'm not the kind of person that can just ignore someone who's talking to me. I guess not, but you pretty much, like, I don't know. <laughs> she probably just typed it you know, more or less, like, I don't know. I, that's why I'm curious how these two are actually going to get close. It's like, I don't know how that's going to turn out, you know. Because he he doesn't say nothing to her, but, you, you know, we read all this dialogue. He says it in his mind what he thinks of her. Like, can you just say this out loud, like, when you actually think of this person here? I don't know. <laughs> Either. We're we'll at the same table, after that. You know, I once bought a waffle cone and started eating. I mean, you know what? I found a screw there. A real screw. Can you imagine that? Or was it a boat? I don't really know. I mean, I yeah, she is kind of a... Um, she talks a lot, you know, there's, I, there are people like that in real life. I don't know if they talk, like, in a robotic kind of tone like that. It's like, because you can kind of tell, it's like, that's why I said that this is, they're trying to borrow references from Hatsune Miku, even though they, uh, her name in this is Miku Masha, is something you never knew to this. Uh, they took the name uh, Hatsune and switched it for a different name because obviously to avoid copyright they can't use the whole name for that. So, but they can use Miku since that could belong to just about anybody. But there's only one person that most of us know what that name, you know, in terms of anime and all that other stuff, video games and stuff, right? 
uh, I don't know any other character that's named Miku, <laughs> so, other than her, you know, so here you have a character that's kind of like that, uh, so you can kind of see what they were trying to do a little bit, but at the same time, the personality is a little bit different, because Hatsune is a little more of a summary, as opposed to what you're getting here. But it's not too different though, because when she talks, she's kind of a fast talker too, a little bit. Uh, some of you guys ever heard her talk, speak before. So, but let's move on. Screws are those that you tighten with screwdrivers, and bolts are those that you turn with a wrench, yes? If there was a speed eating contest going on, I would probably be in the top three winners by now. You, he's, again, he's referring to her. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, you know, it's like, it would be something to kind of deal with this kind of person a little bit. Like, yeah, I mean, at times, like, I could see, like, you know, somebody's talking fast all the time, and as soon as you got around them, and they just kind of started talking random all over the place. Yeah, it, it probably would get on your nerves a little bit here or there, but I don't think it would really be that bad, though. That big a deal, I don't think. <laughs> it just depends on our mood sometimes, right? Right, I'll be going. Uh, enjoy your meal. I got up and headed outside. <laughs> Miku was saying something, but her words were drowned by the crowd of loudly dining pioneers. <laughs> wow. She does have a lot of energy, and I I give the I give this game a little. I give the people who made this credit that at least they tried uh, to do the best they can to make their own version of Miku, even though the similarities are pretty much similar, except for a few different uh, things here or there. Uh, it's not exactly like that, Miku, but it's close enough, you know. So, I just sat there and watched night falling. Everything is so lively here during the day, kids laughing and yelling happily, fooling and running around, constant chatter, games going on and swimming at the beach. But after dark, the camp changes entirely. The sounds of day were swapped for silence. Only now and then broken by crickets chirping or a night bird. The camp was going to sleep. In every shadow you could see things. Maybe a ghost or a spirit of, of the forest or a wild animal. A human being would be the last thing to expect. That is how it looked last night and now. The locals followed their routine very strictly. And the day the camp was theirs and the night it belonged more to the forces of nature than to humans. Did it. Someone touched my shoulder. Okay. I look back. It was electronic. Let's go play cards. Cards? Yep. I invented a new game. A good one. Good. Like how? Well, first we gotta go find the cards. Then I'll tell you. Then go find them. What's the problem? Uh, only Olga has them. And she won't give them to me. Why so? Well, the last time when we... Oga, the Michinaba, and Slavia came out onto the porch. Oh yeah, this typical uh, thing here. I should really forward this, but uh, since I'm kind of already in it anyway, it's not really a big deal. Oga, uh, Simeon just uh, wanted to ask you about the possibility of getting playing cards. Actually, for what purpose? We in invented a new game. Not we, you did. What game? I need the cards to show you. Hmm. I don't like this. Well, if Simeon is with you, then perhaps it's okay. To be really honest, we'll go fetch them together, Ava. Okay? And we're gonna go alone, because I think, yes, this is one of the few times we ignore somebody. That's kinda funny. So we're ignoring Slavia here. <laughs> Are we going to bump into Miku? I'm kind of hoping we do here. Because this is one of the few cases like, we, I have not got a choice where uh, it usually has anything to do with anybody else. Usually the choice is like, okay, the other choice has to do with, uh, you know, it's like if you go alone, at least to a different person type of thing, uh, it has nothing to do here. This is one of the few times I... Uh, this is a direct quote. He said, No, we are telling you, you are not going with this girl here. You are going somewhere else. <laughs> so we're going alone. 
I'll go get them. Fine, they're in my cabin, in the best drawer. I headed to Ogre the Beach now this place. Okay. Why did I agree anyway? Because I made you. Then again, what choice did I have? Ah, well, you were given two choices. I chose the bottom choice. <laughs> There's nothing to do here at night. At least I'll have some fun. But in my mind, but my mind kept nagging me about this not being a good time for having fun. On the other hand, if there actually exists a camp of pioneers, then it must be someone's doing. And even if it's not true, then the most logical thing is to seek answers uh, here, not in the forest or fields. But at this very moment, the answer is going to play cards. Okay. I opened the door with my own key and went inside. Ah, his own. But he's got another key, remember? Or is that key just going to be just... You know what? This key has nothing to do with anything. It just means that taking this key gets you to Miku's route. Oh, that's all it does? It doesn't do anything? I guess we'll find... I guess I'll find out on that one. <laughs> To my surprise, there were no cards inside. Instead, it was full of cups, forks, and knives, plates, scotch tape, scissors, rubber gloves, a piece of rope, a few plastic bags, pencils, and a few broken uh, pens. Everything except the playing cards. Maybe I should look in the closet. No, but I did I recall it's like, uh, did he rubbage through somebody's drawer? And I, think, I don't think it was Slobby. I think it was uh, Oga's, maybe? I think, oh, wait. Couldn't have been Ogre, maybe. Uh, maybe it was someone else. I'm not sure. It was full of Ogre's clothes. Yeah. But a small drawer with a keyhole at the top caught my eye. Oh. Oh, well, wait a minute. I pulled, but it didn't open. I wonder if she's hiding something. Wait a minute. You got a key. Forcing it wasn't the best idea, even if the cars were in there. It was just turning to leave as if I rem as I remembered something. Slobby forgot her keys yesterday. They're here. Ah, so this is going to be something new. What if? For a moment I hesitated, but then approached the closet and started picking a key for the lock. Of course, it would be strange to expect a result, indeed. Why would Slavia carry a key for Olga Dimitrinova's personal chest? I don't know, but to my surprise, another key slid into the lock and turned a few times without a problem. Oh, boy. Suddenly, the door squeaked behind me. Oh, boy. I jumped to turn around, but there was nobody in the cabin. Was it the wind? I carefully looked outside, not a single person in sight. Perhaps it was nothing, but I still felt uneasy. That was kind of creepy, I gotta say. I don't know what that was. I even looked in the bushes by the cabin, but then decided to go back and seek out all the dark secrets of our chief. Samian, what's taking you so long? I, I, yes. I was shaking hands. I turned the key and jerked it out of the lock. Slobby came closer. Ah, my keys. I thought I'd lost them. Why did you find them? Uh, they were in the bushes outside. Found them just now. Why did you just say that they were in the, the key? Uh, you left them in the door. Uh, you just kind of had them on you. But I, I can see why he kind of lied there. <laughs> Thank God I managed to close it before she saw Shall we go? I wanted to get out as fast as possible and preferably forgot about my attempt to violate someone's privacy. I mean, you got a key there. I guess I'd be kind of intrigued a little bit too, though. I think we're all kind of like that, right? It's like you stumble across something. It's like, oh, wait a bit. I have a key. It's like, how would you know that key actually belonged to that? But then, I don't know. It just You just kind of went for it. It's like... I was kind of wondering too. It's like, hmm, what is in this? Obviously, it has something to do with her. But when we did her route, that didn't come up really. So it's, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I guess going back to doing Slavia's route, not, not really because I'm on Miku right now. But um, I do feel like there are a few things missing in Slavia's route that uh, was not ex did not get explained, like. Uh, compared to what I did, Ilyana and um, Alyssa's routes, there's pretty much, everything pretty much was out in the open with them. But with her, it's more like, okay, I, I did get an ending, but maybe I should have, maybe if I would have got another ending, I don't know. But there's no other ending for her, and I've already looked, so it's kind of like, I don't know. 
you look at her, it does look like she could have some deep, dark secret somewhere. You wouldn't really know, right? You look at her, you would think there's more there. But then, it's kind of like, I don't know. There was another part where you're not supposed to ask her, uh, what was it? It was a choice. Uh, uh, they had something she, she was carrying, and you're not supposed to ask about it. And basically, I don't know. So, uh, but then when I did ask about it, nothing really came of it, you know, on my own when I did it. Nothing came of it even then. It's like, she just says, like, there's nothing in it. So the game doesn't kind of, doesn't even really go into too much detail on that. So it seemed like the game is more like, like, just kind of making you think there's something there. But really, she's just a normal girl. I don't know. But I don't know. That always kind of got to me a little bit. So, just kind of letting some of y'all know. Sorry, I remember that cards were in Slavia's uh, cabin. She fetched them while we were looking. I looked at Slavia. She meekly smiled. Come on, you guys. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Slavia and Ogre Dmitrinova went inside. I was going to follow, but someone grabbed my hand. Of course, you... We're gonna skip you because it got nothing to do with anything. We're not gonna bet with you though. But I do need to save here because this stupid little card game. Uh, let me uh, get here so I can do it beforehand. Alright. Let's see. You know what? Actually, I'll, I'll actually go ahead and make a part save here for now so at least we got a little bit of miku a little bit uh part part one here because i at least needed to include a little bit of her even though it was only like two parts that she showed up in still it was enough uh for what i got and we did something with that key so there were kind of three things that we kind of had there even though it didn't ex he kind of got caught so it's a lot of like it was more or less like here, you know, we're going to go alone because this is what it does. But nothing came of it. It's like, it does make you intrigued. It's like, what's in there? Are you hiding something or is there something we don't know about this place? I don't know. It's like weird. Yeah. And because of the main plot of the game, when you do Eula's route, that key does not come with you. You don't take that key. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird how this key doesn't really... Uh, had significance in her route, so we're not going to be able to revisit this once I get to do that route, do her. So, like, I don't know. I thought maybe that might turn out to be something, but uh, it, it surprisingly, like, it kind of, like, he was about to open something, but then, like, like anything else, coincidence, somebody had to show up, right? <laughs> uh, but other than that, guys, uh, have a good one.